One of the great features of FL Studio is the ability to use sample packs, which are collections of audio files that you can use in your music production. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to get sample packs for FL Studio and how to use them in your projects. The first thing you'll need to do is to choose a sample pack that you want to use. There are many websites that offer sample packs, some you have to pay for, while others are free to download. There are also a few services like Splice, which is subscription based, where you can also find samples. I personally like using a website called Cymatics. They have a ton of different sample packs that are completely free to download. When choosing a sample pack, it's important to consider the genre and style of music you're making. For example, if you're making EDM, you might want to look for some samples that include some drum loops and synth sounds. Meanwhile, if you're making hip hop, you might want to look for a sample pack that also has 808s. Once you've chosen a sample pack, you'll have to download it to your computer. Most sample packs are available in a zip format, which means you'll need to unzip the file to access the samples. To unzip the file, you can right click the file and click extract. I recommend making a new folder where you can place all of your sample packs into to keep them organized. Once you have the samples unzipped and available on your computer, it's time to import them into FL Studio. To do this, right click and copy the sample pack you have downloaded. Now open up FL Studio and go into your browser and open the packs tab. In here, right click one of the packs already in the folder and click on Windows shell menu, then hit open. If you go one folder up, this will take you to the packs folder and here you can simply paste your new sample packs into and it will now appear in your packs folder inside FL Studio. To use a sample pack in your project, simply drag and drop it from the browser into your project. You can then adjust the volume and panning of the sample and apply effects like reverb and delay to create the desired sound. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, I would love it if you hit the like button and let me know in the comments what style of music you're making. With that said, have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.